the show with Tea Time. We're here with men's basketball head coach Justin Baxter. Justin, thanks for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate your time. Uh, before we get into our series of business today, let's talk about who you think is going to win the NBA Finals this year. Um, I'm a little biased, and I'm, my prediction is the Heat. I have LeBron James and three Pete. I, I think he's the best. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree with you. I mean, it's very difficult to three Pete. I mean, nobody's done it since Jordan. Um, but if anybody can do it, I think LeBron will do it. Um, I think they'll beat the Oklahoma City in six games this year because the Oklahoma City are healthier. Uh, will be healthier going into the playoff this year. This year with Russell Westbrook. But I still think that uh, the Heat and the uh, the big three in Miami are just too much to handle. That's a good answer. So now that we talked a little bit about the NBA season, let's talk a bit about your season. This is the first season of men's basketball here at Ren Athlon College. What are your expectations for your team on and off the court? Yeah, we uh, we have high expectations. I mean, uh, we have obviously a young group of kids, um, you know, majority freshmen. Um, we didn't shy away though from scheduling. Um, we scheduled a high competitive Division Three schedule, um, and we're, we expect, and as a coaching staff, to go out there and compete every day on the basketball court. Off the court, um, you know, we have high expectations for them in the classroom as well. Um, they are performing ace hours. They are getting help from their teachers. Um, you know, we expect the team GPA of over a 3.0, which I think is a, is a good goal. Um, but we do have high expectations both, both on and off the court. So, speaking of basketball, uh, you had your first practice of the year yesterday. What were a few things that you were looking for? Yeah, I was looking for guys who wanted to come in and, and get after it right away. Um, you know, the guys, being freshmen, the majority freshman guys on the roster, um, they, they were very excited about this. Um, but yeah, yesterday we were looking to for the kids who were coming in ready to learn. Uh, we put in a, a lot of stuff yesterday. We threw a lot of stuff at the kids. Um, but I think that they, I think that they handled it well. And you know, the second day of practice, we'll try and build off of what we did the first day. So I'm really looking forward to the for the, to, for today and the days to come. As you just mentioned, you have a very young team. As expected, this is your first recruiting class. 98.6% of your class are incoming freshmen, and you have two students that were here previously from last year, and one student in your recruiting class, he is from Manor College. Where do you turn to for leadership when you have such a young team? Yeah, I think we turn to that that junior who transferred in, Joe uh, Kehoe. I think he's gonna be a kid that I lean on because he's gone through the college um, preparation for games. He's also been in the classroom. He's, He's come to us, you know, with an associate's degree from Manor, from Manor College. So I think I'm going to lean on him to guide the young kids um, to, you know, get them to where he is leading by example and he's showing them what they have to do. And hopefully they take his lead and they, and they go forward with it. You have your first scrimmage in a few weeks, actually, yeah. against, against UPenn. And now you've had your first practice of the year. So let's backtrack a little bit. What were the guys doing to get themselves in shape and mentally prepared for that scrimmage? Yeah, before the season started, we started yesterday, um, we were doing uh, preseason workouts. And what preseason workouts consist of were uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. Um, they were in the weight room with a strength guy. Um, the strength guy came in and put them through some good core workouts. Um, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, they did some conditioning on the basketball floor. And Tuesdays and Thursdays also at a different time, along with Sundays, they were able to play in open gyms, which allowed them to get some camaraderie. You know, these guys come here, they don't know each other um, when they get set on the first day of campus. Now they've got a good bond, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where that, they, where that takes them. Being that UPenn will be your first game, there's a lot of nerves and excitement. I mean, this is your first yeah. time here being a coach, and this will be your first game. A lot of the kids being coming from high school, and a lot of excitement. How do you, how do you kind of compress that and use that in positive energy such a young team. Yeah, I think that you have to sort of calm them down a little bit. I mean, they're so excited, and, and not just them, me. Um, you know, I, I felt myself yesterday in the first day of practice calming them down, but I was more calming them down to calm myself down. I mean, I'm, I'm extremely excited to be a part of Burn Athens Athletics, to be a part of Burn Athens Basketball. Um, I think that all the players that we have here are also excited about that. Um, I think we all need to take a breath and, and, and relax and know that, you know, the end goal is that we want to be competitive in basketball games. Um, you know, that's all the court. But we also, we want our kids to graduate, you know, we want our kids to graduate here in four years. They're going to end up leaving here 
going on to careers, having you know successful careers with their families and stuff like that. That's the ultimate goal, and we have to we have to somehow filter where we find basketball to lead us to that point. Um, so, you know, there, there is a lot of excitement, but everybody, you know, and especially in our program, I think yesterday we, we took a little deep breath, relaxed a little bit, and, and, and looked at the looked at the big picture where you know we can't put everything in one day. We need a uh, you know it's going to take time for everything to gel and everything. There is trust, there is a ton of excitement here, and I'm really looking forward to being a part of it. Last question of the afternoon here, Coach. Where do you see this basketball program being in a year from now? Yeah, um, I see it growing. I, I, there's, no, there's no other way to go but, but growing. I mean, we're going to recruit four or five more players to come in and, and be part of the program, and they'll be our you know, majority freshmen. Um, but the kids that we have now will be one year old. Um, they'll be a little bit faster. They'll be a little bit stronger. Um, you know, they'll have a full year in the academic in the classroom. Um, you know, athletics as a whole has has joined the NCAA. Has joined in the NCAA. These are huge, huge steps that we've taken already in the short time that we've been here, and it's only going to get better. And like I said before, I'm just really, really excited part of what's going on here at Burnett College. Well, thanks for your answer, Coach. That's about all the time we have today for tea time. Coach, thanks for coming out. Thanks, Terry. Best of luck this year. Thank you. Thanks for watching.